Hello everyone, it's Darlington Gospel here and in today's tutorial I want to actually show you a particular you know plugin that you can use with your VS Code it's called Bing okay Bing is really cool it's more like you.com you know which is like a search engine that you can uh, do very cool you know search you know on online but the cool thing about Bing you know being an AI you know search and problem resolve you know a package is that it enables you to do uh, peer programming yeah peer programming and i'm going to show you in this tutorial how you can do that it has a plugin that you can install and when you install it it gives you access you know to it, it basically just bringing a, a second team member into your vs code and you can do crazy debug refactors code fixes and a whole lot of things and in this you know uh, uh tutorial today i'm going to show you how that whole thing works you know step by step all right uh it's darlington gospel and if you haven't subscribed to this channel please hit that like and notification bell you know and subscribe you know so that you won't miss out any one of these important release on this channel and also if you're not part of that mentors academy please subscribe there it's going to really help you we have cool projects and many more coming so you better go and subscribe okay to get the full gist of this particular you know channel all right with that said let's jump into the tutorial so the first thing you do is to go to your extension and search for a, an extension called Fin. Yeah, two which will be displayed for you. Don't install the depreciated. Instead, get the Fin.com. I've already installed mine. That's why it's showing me to reload. Okay, so I don't have to do it again. So you have to install it and actually activate it and activate it. Perform all the necessary requirement that is needed. You know, there will be no money, no charges, just free. So. And once you're done, you have access to this uh, part, this extension in the other tab, you know, as a tab in your interface, which you can use to write questions and answer. So here is an example of how I used Finn to resolve a certain key that really doesn't need a no, okay? But for me to use it, I have to, you know, uh, resolve that. So I'm actually using Finn to resolve this and how I could do this is to highlight the part and the message that is, you know, being displayed for me. And then I actually just click it. This is one way you can use it and it will go about searching out the, the particular answers for you. The cool thing about Find is that it literally reads your file, you know, reads the most important part that has to do with this. It doesn't just read a line or, or anything and you don't need to copy and paste things. There is just the shortcut of also utilizing command or control shift you know plus i and then that happens for you so you can see right now that thing is just going on on the internet and actually just um, getting all these things explaining it for me and also providing a fix for this particular problem you now basically this is it and that error is gone this is an example of how you can use thing in your productivity here is another example of how I intended to create a new interface, you know, using a Solidity um, struct, okay? Like I have a time slot struct that gives me, you know, information about time slot. So I basically would just have to use the shortcut Control Shift uh, or Command, you know, Shift I, and then it gives me access to dump you know the message as a uh, the the particular piece of code as a context then i actually just type in you know the instruction or the help that i'm looking for you know for this particular one is to just uh, translate that solidity struct into an equivalent in typescript as an interface okay and just enter and thing just go about you know performing the search and you know you know taking care of every single form of you know uh, account on it and you know rendering the solution one of the cool things i've also discovered about this thing okay again they are not paying me for this i'm just telling you straight up from experience is that if Finn doesn't really quite understand what you mean, it's going to ask you for that question down the line, which the regular chat GTP doesn't just quite do for you. Another example that I had seen is uh, in 
generating fake data. For example, this interface that I just recently, you know, structured, I could, I want to use it to generate, write a function that will help me to generate fake data based on this, you know, this interface. Okay. So I can also use Fin to do that for me and it does, does that pretty good. Okay. And uh, one of the things that you must understand about all these uh, AI is that they are not like you know, completely down to earth, accurate. Sometimes you also need to get, you know, get your hands into it and get the rest of the code resolved, you know, if there are some differences that need to be resolved. So this is how I actually, you know, I'm able to uh, uh, generate uh, data, which I'm using for my interface, fake data without actually, you know, going about putting a lot of redundant code on my interface. With that said, there are many other examples that I've used personally. I use this like on you know a daily basis now. You know, I don't need uh charge to be you know or to be on a certain tab, although I still use charge to be like in a different tab for certain reasons, okay. But you can actually have this thing installed and it's like a peer programmer, you understand, and it helps you to be articulating your code. You can, you know, give it a lot of tasks and it does for you. It's pretty good and you can already tell that it has this layer of charge GTP4, you know, installed in it, which is really great. So I will encourage you to, you know, hook it up to improve your, the efficiency of your web trade development because I use it, you know, so you should use it and you should learn to uh, embrace the use of AI in this new generation, in this new era, because a lot of things are going to be AI embedded. Okay. The faster that you actually are okay utilizing AI in your development process, the better for you. So I myself have embraced AI. I'm not thinking about AI taking my job or anything. Like I don't, I don't think in that perspective because I'm here to serve, you know, and AI cannot I serve the gift of God in me. So that's the idea about this. So do not be scared, use AI and actually be productive with it. So if you enjoy that video, please uh, hit the like and subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Please don't forget to visit our website and check out our courses and also subscribe to our channel, uh, to our website, that Mentors Academy to get every latest release you know, early release, early access to our courses, you know, and so many tons of stuff. Okay. So just get it. All right. We'll see you in the next tutorial.